peace declaration, that weapon of human extinction, the atomic bomb, was dropped on the people of Hiroshima 64 years ago. Yet the Hibakusha's suffering, a hell no words can convey, continues. Radiation absorbed 64 years earlier continues to eat at their bodies and memories of 64 years ago flash back as if they had happened yesterday. Fortunately, the grave implications of the Hibakusha experience are granted legal support. A good example of this support is the courageous court decision, humbly accepting the fact that the effects of radiation on the human body have yet to be fully elucidated. The Japanese national government should make its assistance measures fully appropriate to the situations of the aging Hibakusha, including those exposed in black rain areas and those living overseas. Then tearing down the walls between its ministries and agencies, it should lead the world as standard bearer for the movement to abolish nuclear weapons by 2020 to actualize the fervent desire of Hibakusha that no one else should ever suffer as we did. In April this year, U.S. President Obama, speaking in Prague, said, as the only nuclear power to have used a nuclear weapon, the United States has a moral responsibility to act and take concrete steps towards a world without nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons abolition is the will not only of the Hibakusha, but also of the vast majority of people and nations on this planet. The fact that President Obama is listening to those voices has solidified our conviction that the only role for nuclear weapons is to be abolished. In response, we support President Obama and have a moral responsibility to act to abolish nuclear weapons. To emphasize this point, we refer to ourselves, the great majority of the globe, as the Oba majority, and we call on the rest of the world to join forces with us to eliminate all nuclear weapons by 2020. The essence of this idea is embodied in the Japanese constitution, which is ever more highly esteemed around the world. Now, with more than 3,000 member cities worldwide, Mayors for Peace has given concrete substance to our 2020 vision through the Hiroshima-Nagasaki Protocol. And we are doing everything in our power to promote its adoption at the NPT Review Conference next year. Once the protocol is adopted, our scenario calls for an immediate halt to all efforts to acquire or deploy nuclear weapons by all countries, including the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which has so recently conducted defiant nuclear tests. Visits by leaders of nuclear weapon states and suspect states to the A-bombed cities. Early convening of a UN special session for disarmament. An immediate start to negotiations with the goal of conducting a nuclear weapons convention by 2015. And finally, to eliminate all nuclear weapons by 2020. We will adopt a more detailed plan at the Mayors for Peace General Conference that begins tomorrow in Nagasaki. The year 2020 is important because we wish to enter a world without nuclear weapons with as many hibakusha as possible. Furthermore, if our generation fails to eliminate nuclear weapons, we will have failed to fulfill our minimum responsibility to those that follow. Global Zero, the International Commission on Nuclear Non-Proliferation and Disarmament, and others of influence throughout the world have initiated positive programs that seek the abolition of nuclear weapons. We sincerely hope that they will all join the circle of those pressing for 2020. As seen in the anti-personal landmine ban, liberation from poverty through the Grameen Bank, the prevention of global warming and other such movements, global democracy 
that respects the majority will of the world and solves problems through the power of the people has truly begun to grow. To nurture this growth and go on to solve other major problems, we must create a mechanism by which the voices of the people can be delivered directly into the United Nations. One idea would be to create a lower house of the United Nations made up of 100 cities that have suffered major tragedies due to war and other disasters, plus another 100 cities with large populations totaling 200 cities. The current UN General Assembly will then become the upper house. On the occasion of the peace memorial ceremony commemorating the 64th anniversary of the atomic bombing, we offer our solemn heartfelt condolence to the souls of the A-bomb victims. And together with the city of Nagasaki and the majority of Earth people and nations, we pledge to strive with all our strength for our world free from nuclear weapons. We have the power, we have the responsibility, and we are the Obama majority. Together, we can abolish nuclear weapons. Yes, we can. Thank you very much.